Hey, what's going on? It's that time for a word of the day. Wednesday, looks like I'm in a jungle right now. I'm actually right outside of Starbucks, so you may hear people's orders going on to the left of me. But anyways, I'm going through the one another's uh, right now. There's so many one another's. It's like hard to choose, you know, which one to talk about. But um, the one that I wanted to highlight today um is found in romans 15 uh in verse 5 and 6 um and so it goes like this it says now may the god who gives endurance and who supplies encouragement now i'm reading out of the amplified bible um right now which the amplified is basically you know the greek words um typically have multiple meanings in the english language and so the amplified breaks out those multiple meanings so if you ever see like parentheses and stuff like that that's what that is now may the god who gives endurance and who supplies encouragement grant that you be of the same mind with one another according to christ jesus right and so there's the one another right there and it's like okay being of the same mind being unified in our minds right and this next two words are crucial you know when it comes to bible reading because it's like okay well what does that mean right um and the next two words show you the definition of that verse in verse five the first two words of verse six says so that Whenever you see a so that in the Bible, um, this is typically what Paul does in his writing is he gives you um, an instruction, right? Like, here's what you need to do, right? And here's the result of doing that. So that so that is at the fulcrum of the instruction and the result if you do that instruction. So this so that with one accord you may be with one voice glorify and praise and honor the god and father of our lord jesus christ and so that one accord is not a honda accord but it's just a term you know that you find typically in the bible which is, just talks about unity right and so man being uh, of one mind um together you know it's it's really good it's really good to have a single singular devotion to god right where maybe you're you know listen to, to worship music or you know reading your bible um and you have your personal relationship with god like that is so good to have but it is also good to be joined with other people um in your you know devotion to god as well um there's a reason why you uh take coals on a barbecue pit if you take one coal away from the others the coal is going to burn out it's just scientifically proven right but when those coals are all together they're gonna last longer because the coals stoke each other and it's similar to that in our christian walk right man we can man go like crazy and do it all on our own for only so long right we need to uh, be around other believers you know and it's constantly throughout the bible it talks about don't forsake the gathering of the the brethren <laughs> of you know just people getting together because man we stoke each other's fire we encourage each other we fire each other up to continue in our walk with christ you may be feeling down one day and if you're just trying to do this thing by yourself man there's not going to be somebody that can lift you up that can lift your spirits up and so um so this is a really good instruction of, of just being um not just by yourself but having unity um in mind with one another so that man you can glorify you know god as so you can praise god and honor god you know and uh there's something too, even where it says in the Bible, where two or more are gathered, there I am in the midst, you know, and not to say that you can't experience God by yourself, but there is power when we come together right now over me. <laughs> That's what God is saying to you right now, you know, so I'm not sure where you're at in your uh, faith journey, but if you're doing it by yourself, you know, um, man, you're only going to last so long. 
Um, man, we need to come together. We need to encourage one another. We need to bear one another's burdens. All these one another's are talking about, um, you know, the assembly of, of people together to, to walk this thing out. So I want to leave you guys with that, man. Get plugged in, man. Get plugged into, man, a Bible study. Man, I just had one, you know, earlier today um, with some really strong, um, you know, brothers. And, and, you know, they go to different churches, but, man, we get together, you know, and just talk about the Bible. Um, study it together. Man, get plugged into a church, man. It's, it's a really uh, easy way to, to walk this thing out. I uh, hope you guys are encouraged today and have a fantastic day, all right?